Diana Teeters here. I'm in Sony Vegas Pro 10. I'm going to show you how to use Digital Hotcakes 101 Transitions inside Vegas Pro. Okay, let's start by bringing, I've got some pictures here of my dogs. I'm going to bring them into track one, put them up against each other there. Now let's go ahead over here and let's zoom in on the timeline because it's going to be important that we can control exactly where the transition goes between the between the two clips here. Before we bring the transition in, let's set the alpha channel. So right mouse click, go to properties, and under alpha channel, set it to straight unmatted. Okay, now let's drag this on the track above. And the only thing we have to do is line up the transition so that it fills the screen right at the cut. So I I put the scrubber bar right here at the cut and let's move it until it fills the screen, which it does right there. So actually that's all you have to do. Let's play this out. And that's it. Let's see how you use the transitions that come with a track mat. Now I have a couple pictures here. Now in this case, we want to make sure we actually want the outgoing clip, I'm sorry, the incoming clip to be over on top of the outgoing clip, just like this. And we need a track between them. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to right click and I'm going to insert a track. Now this is where the track mat's going to go. So I'm going to drag this. This is a camera, DSL camera transition. I want to drag its track mat down here. Now we have to do a couple things. First, we need to create a mass generator. So we're going to come in video effects and drag mass generator to the track mat. And we do want it luminous. We'll set the composite child button and we'll need to come up to this track and set its composite mode to multiply. Now let's go get the actual camera movie. Now you'll have to set its alpha channel. Well, I've already done that, but you'll want to go in and set it to straight unmatted. Now let's drag it down on top to line it up with where the track mat was. Now, if we play this, I'm going to show you. Okay, everything is fine until it got past the track mat and then the bear clip went black. Well, we got to extend this out and that we need we need to extend it out with a white clip in order to do that it's real easy you come in here under media generator under solid and you pick white now i'm just going to take this and i'm going to drag it down here to the track mat and i can close this because this is what we want here and and i'm just going to put the length of the bear clip so now when you play this It will continue playing the incoming clip. Have fun editing and thanks for watching.